This morning on Forever Young, A Guide to Life After 50, we're going to conclude our special series called Three Easy Ways to Change Your Life. Now, we've dealt with going back to school and with hearing aids. Number three is improving your balance. Did you know falls are the number one cause of injuries to older adults? But many can be prevented with simple exercises that will help improve your balance and your posture, too. Tammy Peavy is the fitness coordinator at the Resource Center at Aging in Augusta, Georgia. Good morning, Tammy. Good morning. And we're going to be helped out by Marilyn Smith here, who is a part of your center. Yes, she is. Now, first of all, why does, why does balance start to go as you get older? Well, balance is um, a very kind of a multifaceted um, kind of operation where it involves input from three different kinds of systems. One's your vision, the other is vestibular, which is kind of your hearing and the inner ear, and third is neuromuscular transmission, which is a signal from your muscles to your brain back to your muscles. And we're going to talk quite a bit about that today. Mm -hmm. um, but as you get older, your sight starts to go. You can't really detect a lot of um, changes in your vision. Different um, messages are being sent back to your brain. So it's getting conflicting messages. But there are some things you can do. And you know, falls are not inevitable part of old age. They mm -hmm. can be they can be prevented actually. And we're going to show you some of the things. Alrighty, let's have. get started now. What okay. do you have here? Marilyn's doing some strengthening exercises. Um, she's doing some um, quadricep uh, lifts here and actually hip and hip flexions. What which is she using? This is a band. It creates some resistance. And we recommend this for older people because mm -hmm. it's light, it's easy to carry around, it's non-intimidating, easy to find. And the hip flexion basically increases her ability to get out of a chair, something very simple. As she does abductions here, it's increasing the strength in her lateral muscles. It's very important for following laterally because mm -hmm. research shows that a lot of the hip injuries, fractures, and breaks happen when you fall laterally. And as she does a knee extension, this is increasing the strength of her quadriceps. Mm -hmm. Again, very important in case you're falling forward. Now, how long have you been doing this, Marilyn? I've been doing it about a year and a half. And uh, have you felt better doing oh, it? Oh, I feel marvelous. I hear you're thinking even taking up rollerblading. Rollerblading and learning to ride a bicycle. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, we, I, one of the things that people have in their home is a chair, and I guess right. you can do some stuff with that, too. Right, exactly. Um, also, the some of the things we're going to show you as far as the balance exercises mm -hmm. involve um, the martial forts of tai, of tai Chi. Tai Chi. Right, exactly. Oh, so a little martial arts. Yeah, a little martial arts here we'll show you. And one of the things about Tai Chi that helps improve your balance is that it's very slow and deliberate uh, motion. Now mm -hmm. as you'll see as Marilyn's demonstrating, she's using both her arms and her legs. She's shifting her center of gravity here, mm -hmm. um, involving constantly conscious thought of her body movement. As she shifts her weight forward, it's re she's responsible for shifting her center of gravity mm -hmm. back and forth, back and forth, very slow, deliberate movements. But Tai Chi by itself will not improve your balance. You really do need the strengthening exercise as well as some other balancing exercises. Right. We're going to show you a couple things that you can do at home, very simple. And why this looks really simple, the very um, standard kind of um, testing methods that are used in, in research. In fact, the Physical Therapy Department at Medical College of Georgia is using um, this kind of testing right now mm -hmm. and doing some extensive research. Now, what's balance. Marilyn doing now? What she's doing right now, she's practicing balancing on one leg. And you can do this at home, and you should do this almost every day. Just as simple day. as balancing on one leg. And you know why? Because it's increasing the transmission between your muscles to your brain to your muscles. And that's your reaction time. Mm -hmm. And as she gets better, she can extend it and bring it down. But every day you need to practice this because you need to challenge your balance, if you will. What else do we have? Um, she's going to move on here to the ball. This is called a resist -a ball. Mm -hmm. It's a mobile platform that we use to do some exercises on. Um, initially, just finding your balance sitting down. So gravity is shifting. Again, that neurotransmission is working here. You can see her neurotransmitters working very fast. The proprioception <laughs> is working very quickly here. And as she go moves to the next exercise, which is a quadricep um, exercise, this is very important for just your basic walking, mm. okay? Because when you walk, you need to be able to lift your feet high enough to clear obstacles in your way and just not to shuffle. Shuffling is a very, um, actually, it's a very common cause for, for tripping and falling in older people. All right, well, Tammy Peavy, thank you so very much. And and uh, Marilyn Smith, uh, you look great. Well, and your balance seems fabulous. That. In fact, I think yours is better than mine. <laughs> <laughs>